Welcome to Jackie's Craft Table. Hello, everyone. I'm sharing a couple of cards in this video from a stamp and die set that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. It's called Sending Hugs, and it's just a cute little set. I wanted something new to play with, but I didn't want to wait for a whole week or however long it takes to order something online. <laughs> so I went to Hobby Lobby and I used my 40% off coupon and I got this little set for around $7, which wasn't a bad price in my opinion. I really love the details of these cute little dies and it has a die for the sentiment as well. So I'm finally pulling out this stencil that I picked up several months ago and it's a Tim Holtz stencil called Tiles. I'm using four different Distress Oxides and I'm going to create a rainbow with these four colors. So I'm putting down some candied apple first, and then I go in with some squeezed lemonade. And when I overlap the two, of course, it's going to turn orange and it turns into a pretty orange color. Next is the broken china over the yellow. And again, it's gonna turn a pretty green. And I just go back and forth between the blending tools to smoothen the colors out. My last color is Wilted Violet. You could certainly use all of the different colors of the rainbow, but I just thought I'd use four and blend them together and see what happened. It was a lot of fun to play with these. Now I can peel up the stencil and see how this turned out. I held that in place with some pieces of the purple tape, and I think that turns out so pretty. Now I can stamp up my cactus image and my sentiment. I'm going to be cutting both of those out with the coordinating dies. And I'm using a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock for this. I also used Bristol Smooth cardstock on my stenciled panel. It's a really good cardstock to use for your Distress Oxides and for your Zig Markers, which is what I'm going to use to color in this darling little cactus. I'm putting in my shadows with a turquoise zig marker. And then I'm using a light blue to blend that out. And I just go back and forth between these two markers. Cacti come in so many different colors, so you could really use whatever colors you'd like. I did color this up several times before just to play a little bit and see what I wanted to do for this card. And I liked this combination very well. These zig markers blend so smoothly on this paper. It's really fun to play with. And next for the pot, I wanted it to look like a terracotta color. And so I'm using oatmeal and a brown color to get this effect. The oatmeal's the lighter color and I'm just blending that darker color out. I'm using some more light blue on the bottom of these flowers. And then I picked out a pinkish color for the actual flowers. I just love the little smiling face on this cactus. And now to put this card together, I'm using a turquoise colored card base and I just glued down a piece of white cardstock onto that. I wanted some of the blue to show through around the edges. And I cut out my ink blended piece with a heart die. And I'm just going to attach that onto my card panel. I popped up this heart with some foam tape and I'm also going to use more foam tape behind the cactus. I wanted to have the orange and yellow colors behind him so I'm putting him on the right and then I'm going to pop up my sentiment onto the left of the heart. I think that looks so cute. And now for some enamel dots of similar colors. This just helps to carry the color onto the white spaces of the card. I'm using a little bit of the leftover ink blended panel for the inside of my card. And I'm going to stamp the cactus one more time. And he is going to sit on some of these strips of paper that I had left over. And that completes my first card. That was a really fun and fast card to put together. It was a really nice find at Hobby Lobby. I was surprised by their selection. As I mentioned earlier, I did play around with this stamp set 
before I created this card. And here's another one that I created with a round die. I think I like the heart one best, so that's why I chose that one to film. On card number two, I'm going to use the third image that came in this little set. And it's this little row of cacti, and they're so cute and little. And I'm going to use the, the big cactus again. I'm stamping them up onto another piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock. And I'm going to stamp out this row of cacti several times. I'm using the same turquoise marker, but this time I'm blending it out with a pale green. And I'm using the same brown colors on the little pot. I left it a little more sketchy this time, and I really liked that effect. I'm going to color in all of these cacti the same color. So I do one at a time and just go back and forth between these four images. This little image just comes to life with all of these colors that I'm using. Each one is going to have a different color scheme, but I'm doing all of the pots with the same two brown colors. Now I can cut these out with the coordinating dies. These dies are so detailed. They even cut out all of the little needles on this cactus here. I'm cutting out a window in this card panel with some MFT Peekaboo Wonky Window dies. I'm using the smaller one. This is going to frame the large cactus. I also pulled out a sentiment from one of my older sets, and it, it says, Waving high, wishing you were here. And I thought that would be perfect for this cactus because it does look like he's waving. This is from a set called Polar Bear Pals from MFT. I used some Versify and Onyx Black ink to stamp that out, and I'm going to pour over some clear embossing powder. This just adds a bit of shine to your sentiment. I really like this technique. Then I can melt that with my heat tool. You can just see it melt, it's so fun to watch. I popped up this panel with some foam tape and I'm using a piece of tomato soup cardstock for my card base. This is also from Gina K. The yellow is called sweet corn. And now I can add all of my cacti. This little guy is going to go inside the window. I did use foam tape behind him. The other cacti, I'm just going to glue flat onto the card panel, just around the window. I want the faux stitching to show. These cacti do hang off the edge of the yellow card panel, but I really like that effect. I think it looks really cute. I was going to put the fourth one on the bottom, but I just didn't have enough room with the sentiment. So I'm going to stick that on the inside of my card. And I'm also going to put a piece of yellow cardstock under that just to give them something to sit on. I'll trim off the excess. And my second card is done. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you get a chance to sit down and create something awesome. Have a wonderful day. Bye.